Hey everyone, I am very excited for today's unboxing slash haul. I was pretty adventurous and finally got my first sizable package of Copic markers. Ow! I just set it on my finger. A couple months back I did, I cannot talk while I do this. How do people do that? I'm like so distracted. Yay. That was a very extra face. A couple months back, I did the one marker challenge with my only pack of Copic markers. I have six of, the, uh, why did I do three? I had six of them before now. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it below. So a couple weeks ago, I noticed that Michaels had a 50% off coupon, which doesn't happen a whole lot. Normally they have 40% off ones every single week. So I'm gonna show you what's in here and do swatches of every single color. The aqua one is so pretty. I got Copic Classic Set A. So if you guys are looking into getting a giant set like this, I'll let you know what I think of this one. I did look up the colors online and I looked up the charts. It has a great mix of browns, grays, blues. It has a colorless blender. There's not a whole lot of light skin tones in this, peachy colors, not even really light browns. So that I will have to get more of if I decide to do a lot of people drawings, which I'm not even great at drawing humans. The other thing, this doesn't have a whole lot of really, really light pastels. I got a ton of advice from you in my previous Copic marker video about where to get these, you know, how to get them the most affordable way. And a ton of you were saying coupons. A lot of you also said Dick Blick, which is a great art supply store and Amazon as well. But the thing about getting these with a 50% off coupon, and by the way, this video is not sponsored at all. Copic did not sponsor me. Michaels did not sponsor me. I'm just doing this video because art stuff. If you've never looked up the price of these in the past, your mouth is gonna drop when I tell you that I got these for $319 for 72 markers. And that's before sales tax. So the total actually came to 30, or 30, 345.59, which sounds absolutely insane. You could get like 40 packs of Crayola Super Tips for that price. But what's even crazier is that is 50% off the regular price that they were selling for. From the research that I did, this is the cheapest that I could actually get this amount of Copic markers for. Original price, these were over $600 on the Michaels website. And if you look at the regular price on Amazon or Dick Blick, it's probably gonna be closer to the $400 range. But with a coupon, I come to find that those websites weren't actually the best option. Here's the kicker though, just a few days after I had already made this purchase and they were already on their way to me, I found out that there was a special one day 60% off coupon at Michael's. I didn't even know that those existed, but I definitely would have waited for one if I could have. Let's open this up. While I take the plastic off, I'm just going to take this time to say if you're new here and you've never seen one of my videos before, my face is not familiarized into your brains. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hopefully none of you are here for like professional grade level artwork because I just do art for fun. I mean, I've been doing it for a very long time, but I'm not as skilled as the other Copic artists. Obviously, I haven't practiced with it. I don't do a whole lot of realism here, but I do a ton of fun artsy, crafty DIY videos. I do bullet journaling. If you guys are interested, please subscribe if you wanna see more of that kind of stuff. Ready? So, so, so exciting. I'm gonna go straight to the aqua one. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is my favorite color. I mean, look at the chair. Oh my gosh. Did I get the wrong kind of marker? Oh no. The moment when this is a failure. I think I was supposed to get Copic Sketch and these are Copic Classic. And now I feel like a dummy. They have the chisel tip, but then I was expecting a brush tip and it's this little detail guy. So that sucks. I'm so stupid. What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Please no one ever take advice from me again. I don't even know. I don't know. Maybe this was a happy accident because I really don't make a ton of large art pieces and I think anything that I would make really large would be a painting. Um, I like to kind of just do things 
smaller scale you know maybe having a precision tip like this isn't actually a bad thing so i think i overreacted i was just in shock that i had made a mistake that was really stupid with a very high-end expensive product and I thought that it was like the end of the world because I mean, I'm not gonna go and splurge on another giant set of them just to get the brush tips right now because I wanna practice first and I don't know after like taking the plastic off if I could return them or exchange them or anything. So I think that I might actually like these. For those of you who are seasoned Copic marker users, let me know the pros and cons between the Copic Sketch and the Copic Classics like I have. Um, do you really, really love the bigger brush tip or do you not mind having a more precision detailing end? I just tested out some of the lighter shades and oh my gosh, I love how light of a tone that some of these are, the gray and the cool shadow, which is like a very, very, very light blue. They're so light. There's no way to get that light with any other marker that I have. I'm pretty excited. I'm very curious as to what's the difference between black and special black. Let's see. Black, special black. I'm so confused. These blacks look almost identical. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and sharing in my total candid I didn't know what I was getting moment. Hopefully you guys are not disappointed and you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the swatches. Have a great rest of the day. Um, don't make the same mistakes as me and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.